In today's tutorial we'll be creating this text morphing animation within After Effects. This was a request from one of the subscribers and I figured it's a pretty cool and easy effect to create a tutorial about so let's go ahead and do so. I'll start off by creating my text layer here. Let's type in morph and by holding down Control alt home I am centering the anchor point in the middle of my text and Control home to set it in the center of my composition. So these are just two quick tips for you. Now, in order to create this effect, there are multiple ways we can do this. One is using the simple choker effect, which is obviously choking around our text here. So if we set it to say 80, set a keyframe, go to about three seconds and set it to zero. You can see we're getting a pretty similar effect, but there isn't much control. And if you're satisfied with this, that is fine, but let me show you a better effect to use. So I'll get rid of the simple choker and add a roughen edges. Now this effect is pretty cool because it's controlled by a fractal noise layer. So for example, if I set my border to maybe 400, so we don't see anything, I'll set a keyframe for it and I'll go to about five seconds here and let's set it to zero. So once I play this back, you can see we're getting a pretty similar effect, but it has a lot more detail here and it gets kind of fractal noisy and then reveals our text. Now for me this is a little too much of noise, so what I like to do is go into my scale here and set it to 200 and my edge sharpness to maybe 0.7. But if you want more detail you can always go to things like the complexity, set it to 5 and there you have your noisy text. But let me just set it back to 2 and I'll actually hit U to bring up these keyframes. Let's select them, hit F9 and I'll go into my graph and drag these two here to the left just so it starts off a bit faster. So something like this. Let's play this back. So this is how simple it is to create this effect. Now another cool thing about this effect is if we go into the edge type here, we've got a few variations we can use for the animation. So for example, rough on color will actually give us an edge with a color around our fractal noise. So we can create just an interesting look around the outline here. So maybe something light bluish and it's basically going to follow along. Now let me actually give you a few more compositing tips and show you how I created the background at the beginning of this video. So let's quickly create a solid, we'll call this background, and I'll drop a four color gradient on it. And this is a pretty simple effect, just creating four different colors on our solid. And this is a technique I learned from a different tutorial. So by simply clicking Alt on my point one here, I can type in an expression, wiggle, open bracket and let's type in 0 0.5 comma a thousand and you want to go ahead and copy this effect so control a and control c now i'll basically paste this onto all my points here so alt click point two paste it three paste it four paste it so that basically has the colors dancing around our composition endlessly now, once we set some interesting colors here to fit with our comp, so something dark blue, let me copy this one and paste it over here. I will also create similar colors right here, so lighter, and here maybe something even brighter, like so. So, now once I play this back, you can see we're getting this interesting gradient with an infinite animation in the background. So, just another quick tip. Let's go ahead and pre-compose this whole thing. And I want to actually add a glow on top of this. So I'll create a new adjustment layer. And if you don't have deep glow, which creates a pretty amazing glow, but it is a paid plugin, let me show you how you can actually replicate it without using it. So let's go ahead and add the default glow here. And I'll set my intensity to 0.2 and up my radius to 20. I will duplicate this glow effect and set my radius to 200. Duplicate it one more time and let's set it to something like 500 Like so and that basically creates a replication of the deep glow not exactly but it's rather close Now I also went ahead and add a bit of noise to my original text layer and set it to 15 So this just gives it a bit of this noisy kind of look again You don't have to use this but it's something that makes it look kind of interesting and gives it a nice touch. All right, this is it for this tutorial. Hope you find this useful with the extra tips in there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.